This looks... Backwards. Bentornati. Welcome back to Valheim Heart and Home. We are the Warrior Onion Heart and yes, we are still in our old, small base. Yeah, first of all, sorry for the delay uh, in these episodes, but you know, a combination of day job plus life happened. Also, I had actually like maybe two and a half hours of footage recorded, but when I went in to edit, I found that the audio was corrupted. Uh, this time it was weird, like it wasn't even the mic audio or the mic track, it was the actual in-game sound, so I could have made an entire episode without music or game sound, but that just didn't seem right. So I decided to scrap it and uh, a little bit later, here we are. So I want to show you first of all what happened in the meantime. Not a lot in here, maybe the most attentive out of you will notice something is missing here, but don't worry, it's just been relocated. Let's jump in this portal that says bone mass. Guess where this is going? This is going in, in the swamp and we are a little bit high up over the swamp. Yes, we are on top of the big bone mass skull because why not? <laughs> now, I'm not super sure that this structure would hold when we actually spawn bone mass. I know that if you stay on top of the skull and you just try to keep your distance, you can be safe. Uh, any structure that is, you know, at ground level would get absolutely destroyed. So the trick is uh, that if you have enough stamina, you, you can jump up. Uh, it's it's not it's not foolproof. It's not a, a super you know, uh, hundred percent uh, working trick because yeah you you need to have enough stamina otherwise you will not be able to jump up. But yeah, I made a little bit of a temporary base in here because I I thought we have quite a few crypts to work on, and all that iron uh, would have filled the longboat in entirely, so why not actually work it in here? Because there's a lot that we can do in here, so we have our our full, fully upgraded uh, forge right here, um, and the, the objective is to actually collect and smelt as much iron as possible in here, like fuel the furnaces, stuff like that, all that jazz, you, you you know what it what it, what it's like, right? Uh, and this is what we have collected so far. Uh, let me show you. So I couldn't find any crypts in this direction, but two in here already explored. Um, it's all planes on, on top here, uh, and then I explored this one. I created a little bit of a path. Also, these uh, <laughs> waypoints are just there to help me uh, find. The, um, the the dry path I've been uh, creating uh, because it's kind of tricky to orient yourself in, in, in the swamp. Yeah, like sometimes you, you think, well, I should go that way. Then it's all watery. Then instead you look at the minimap, you see the small points in there, and that's, uh, that's a bad guy there. I don't want to get near it. Because I don't have... Well, I ha I have my potions. I, I, I just don't want to use them. So, let me actually go up. So that I'm safe from rude... Rude uh, blobs and stuff like that. So, what was I talking about? The crits. Okay, so if the first one, I think, that we uh, cleared out, this one, was very, very big and sprawling. And I got something... Maybe even more than three stacks of iron scraps out of that. Uh, again, many branching paths, and I think it was also very lucky in the fact that there were at least a couple of chests that had like 10 or 15 uh, iron scraps in them. So, uh, very big haul out of the first one. The, 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 um, the second and the third weren't as lucky as, as they weren't even as big 
Um, but still, in total, as you've seen uh, back there in the chest, we have the equivalent of maybe five slash six stacks of iron that we can work with. Um, there is something maybe that we can do right away. And that something could be starting to replace our iron armor. I'm sorry, our bronze plate armor with iron armor because we would jump uh, from 12 to 14 uh, armor a piece, which would be very nice. We could also uh, further um, upgrade the iron buckler, the ancient bark spear, which are very good weapons. And I was thinking I have, if you remember, we made already the huntsman bow, of course. But the thing is, before upgrading, it's uh, actually the same. <laughs> well, it's maybe like one point. Yeah, you go from 41 to 42. <laughs> so it wasn't really worth it carrying it around, also because it has less durability. But if I bring this with me uh, and upgrade it, it's gonna be great. Right, so so let's do some of that. Let, let me check the let me check the um, recipes. Is what I wanted to say. Ooh, well, upgrading this uh, costs kind of a lot, but uh, we we gotta do it. Let's grab a little bit of fine wood, feathers, and deer hides. So I think that would be enough to upgrade at least a little bit. Oh, the the um, the thing is, of course, the feathers. Yes, those we want. So that will be enough to give us. Maybe one, maybe two upgrades of the Huntsman Bow, the, depending. Then we will want to upgrade the Ancient Bark Spear, for that we need Ancient Bark. I don't even know why the Ancient Bark isn't here. We should, we should have had that. Um, can I? How do I split like that? Sorry. Sometimes, like, there, there, there are a few other games that I uh, play off-camera, and notably, when I play a little bit of Minecraft, a lot of the key bindings are the exact opposite. Like E instead of tab, those get swapped, and then the way you uh, split stacks is all different. Like my brain totally explode whenever I uh, jump between Valheim and Minecraft for some reason. Anyway, in enough of that. Um, ancient bark spear or oh, troll hides. Troll hides, of course. Wait, do I have troll hides somewhere else? I think. I think I had troll hides somewhere, or, or maybe not, maybe that was in the past and I'm misremembering. Get 20? Twenty? Yeah, I get, get 20, whatever. More upgrades. So that would be upgrades for this. Do I want to upgrade this? Maybe, maybe not now. Then, what do I need to craft the armor? Iron scale. That's just iron and deer hides, if we have enough. But I think we we will because we have quite a bit. Okay, that that'll be that'll be a big jump. So let's go and do it. All right, here I am in a swamp again. Slide down the big skull, as we do. Let's get in here and grab. Oh look at that! That's that is amazing. And if something attacks me right now, we're totally dead. So, let's start by upgrading. Upgrade the Ancient Bark Spear. And it's gonna be an increase from 55 piercing damage to 61. Only 5 iron, no brainer, do it. Upgraded. Level 2, let's see, can, can I do even more? I could for another 10 iron, but let's... Uh, uh, it will go up to 67, which is not bad at all. But I want the Huntsman bow first. Like, having a good bow is amazing. So, we will go from 42 to 45. So, the, the big thing is the durability. Is it gonna match the durability? Ah, the fine wood bow is 250. But you know what, like, do you really need to repair the bow quite that much? I was thinking, why does the bow uh, not scale up so much in damage? And the reason is because you need to scale up your arrows. That's the thing. But I don't feel ready using, like, bronze-tipped arrows. 
or maybe I could, you know, I have enough bronze at the base, I don't know, I don't know, I'll have to think about it, the thing is, the most important type of arrows that I would need right in this second for the swamp are frost arrows, but I can't make them because I've never been in the, uh, in, in the mountains yet, so I think I'm gonna wait on the huntsman bow because the upgrade is quite steep and I don't think it's gonna give me that much of a return. Then, Iron Buckler. Iron Buckler, I think it's worth it. Let's see. 34? Oh, 34 to 40? Yeah, absolutely. Like, 6 points of block armor. Which, by the way, gets uh, multiplied by 2.5 time when we parry successfully. That's gonna be big. So, level 3 Iron Buckler, I think. Do it. That's it. Level 3. It is now time. It is time to get into Iron Scale armor, I think. So, Iron Scale Mail, first piece, there you go, Iron Greaves, another 20, there you go, and now we get a little bit more, and we still have a ton in there, which is great, for the Iron Helmet, 14 armor, craft that, now, how much does it cost to upgrade these bad boys? Only five? Are you kidding me? This is, this is awesome. We'll jump to armor 16 a piece straight away. Upgrade. Wait. There was a wor world save in there. Upgrade that. Upgrade the iron greaves. Give me five more piece. Quick. Uh, split. Yes. Carrying too much. I know. I love it. Upgrade. Upgrade again the Iron Helmet. Right. So, 12 a piece in here, 16 a piece in here. Do we want to go even further? Oh, it's going to be 10. 10 a piece to get to 18. Do I want to do that or do I want to craft... Where is it? I don't think I have all the materials right now. Because I could go Iron Maze. Iron Maze is 55 blunt. So the thing is, it's going to be worth it if I can then upgrade it. How much iron do I have on me? Well, I have a lot in total. Let me see. I think I want to do it. What am I missing? Wood? Normal wood? Let's look at ourselves first. Uh, let's get a little bit of light. Amazing. Like the, the, the light is pretty gloomy in here, but look at this. Iron armor. Looking slick. Okay, let's get a little bit of normal wood from around here. I think we, we can. We can get enough. No problem. It's a little bit on the ground, and we also get a little bit by cutting ancient trees, and there's stumps, hey, log, don't roll away, what is that, seven, let's get a little bit more, uh, I think it's gonna be better actually to cut like these small furs, All right, I don't have a lot of stamina because I'm, I'm on old food, uh, not old as in like moldy or anything like that, but old in in, uh, um, in tech level. Who's that? Don't 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 blah on me. Die! I smash you, I smash you in the face. Don't ever again go blah on me. All right, now I should have everything needed for my next mace upgrade. So, craft, repair. No, craft. What, 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 what am I missing? Oh, iron, of course. Of course I'm missing iron. I'm carrying too much, it's okay. I like that, actually. Iron mace, let's use 20. Do it, upgrade. There you go, iron mace. Now, can I upgrade it further? I need 10. Look, I just need 3 pieces. So, I think we can do it straight away. Give me that. Drop a few pieces of iron in these old smelteries. What? That's the most inopportune time, guys. Seriously. For a 
Oh, ground is shaking? Trolls. The ground is shaking? How is the ground shaking in the swamp? Oh, that's a troll. Okay. You know what? Trolls aren't that bad. Hello, troll. Trolls aren't that bad. Look at that. Look at that. He's he's stunned. He's stunned by the realization that I was able to block his massive um, thingy there. Problem is, I don't have enough uh, life to proper, properly block. I need to wait and regenerate a little bit. Okay. Now I should be able. Oh, this is, he's dead already. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, follow me, follow me. All right. There you go, there you go. He's surprised. Ouch, I didn't I didn't actually block in time. It was my fault. Okay, this was proper. There you go. There you go, ancient bark spear. That was a perfect test, actually. Loved it. And that will teach you, you big trolls, not to get out of your biome. There you go, upgrade. Wait, what happened? I put it away? Yup, I did. That I did. Okay, this time, for sure, upgrade, Iron Mace. It gets to 61 blunt compared to the 53 of the Bronze Mace. It's amazing. Yeah, upgrade. There you go. And the next upgrade, I guess, is gonna be even more, right? Oh, no, this is a bronze mace. Wait, what am I looking at? Iron mace. 20 for level 3. But you know what? In the end, it's gonna be... Um, it's gonna be very worth it. Because the iron mace, pro tip, is actually the best way to kill golems. And do not let anybody tell you otherwise. This is the configuration you use to kill a golem. Because... Golems have two kinds of attack, uh, much like our troll friends. With a buckler, which is meant to parry, you parry the uh, weakest attack. Like one, you have to roll. Uh, let's say that this, this is the, this is your golem. Okay, so you do this, so you you actually don't move. Okay, uh, when they do the uh, normal attack, like the uh, sweeping attack, you parry. They get staggered, and then you do this. You know what this is gonna do? Like this? This is gonna do up to 300 damage to a golem, okay? All the silly people that go around missing the golem and hitting the ground like this and do, like, maybe 90 damage top? That is silly. That is super silly. You do this. You stagger them, 250, 270, 300 damage. That's how you kill golems, okay? Now I told you, I told you the secret. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise, okay. All right, I think we are done in here. Let me uh, put all the iron uh, back in its place and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna start working on the new base. All right, here we are again at our first base. I moved a bunch of stuff that I had uh, in there as well as the old equipment. And look how shiny are we right now. In, in, in the sun, in proper, proper weather. Amazing. I love this set. Very good. So we have a bunch of wood that we can use for crafting. You didn't see this because it was in the corrupted footage, but I replanted a uh, beach grove uh, on this hill right here and then I chopped it all down and this is the 
result. Good, good. Um, oh, right. There's also been an update in the meantime. And part of the update is armor stands. For armor stands, though, we need iron nails. Do I have any iron in here, actually, that I can use? I do. I could make iron nails for armor stands. I want to try that. I want to try that. So, with one ingot I make 10 iron nails. Is that gonna be enough? Well, I need four, but also fine wood and leather scraps. Let me grab some. Okay, so this is the armor stand. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna put one in here just to, just to see what it looks like. But then we are gonna have those, for sure, uh, in the new structure, in the new base. So let me grab some out of here. How does this work? Attach items. Oh, this is the most unknowing interaction ever designed, unfortunately. That you have to do this, and then look at it and press the, the key. So like six, seven, and eight. This looks backwards. Definitely backwards. Uh, let me try again. What? No. Give me that. Okay, let me place it in the middle. Because I'm. there's a thing I don't remember. I don't really understand. Um, okay. So I look at it. Press 7. Ah, uh, I get it. So... It has this little piece, let me show you, if I collect it. So, it is smooth on this side, but it's got this little piece back, okay? So you look at it this way, and you add your armor. Uh, helmet, blade mail, so, six, seven. Huh, I guess it's alright. Um, I'm not sure I like it that much. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I'm not sure I like it that much. Like, I don't, I don't particularly like the arms pose. Okay, so one thing is looking at ourselves. You no, know? we are in an, let's say, action hero pose all the time. Like this guy, it's kind of, it's 50% T posing for dominance, and 50% normal and then it's got a wooden pole uh, going in in the middle there um, yeah and why the hell why is the helmet all I mean this this thing needs a little bit of tweaking right uh, let's try the other armor the blue armor this is slightly better see this is slightly better Okay, <laughs> this is a, um, a, a little bit of guessing from my part, but being that I'm a software developer, let's say it's uh, an informed guess, okay? And what I'm guessing is, whoever designed the alignment between the armor and the armor stand worked on this armor first, because they wanted the um, hood to sit in a cool way on on top of it because this is really cool and also the sleeves of the troll leather armor like this looks neat the problem is they use the same exact rigging for the bronze one and that and 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 that doesn't work as well see because the helmet sits you know too much on up front and and these things in here they don't make much much sense anyway we're gonna use it, nonetheless. Alright, now, I'm gonna collect a bunch of this wood, and I'm gonna move it up there, and we're gonna start uh, working on the base proper, okay? Alright, I loaded in the cart several stacks of wood and stone. Let's hold this all the way there. Actually, I just realized I, I don't think I will be able to go up the stairs. 
just because I designed them uh, to be able to work out. Yes, that's, that's the reason why you have to jump. But I can always bring stuff up and dump them in a chest. Alright, a ton of material. Later I can dismantle this once again. Because the thing is, if I leave it outside and I get raided, uh, it's gonna be, you know, open to attacks. So I better attack it myself. Okay, this is the materials. Right, we should have enough. So, I will start by, of course, completing the roof. Then, uh, the walls. And I need to decide... Hmm, I need to decide what I want to do with the... With the exterior. Now, for, for now, this kind of resembles crenellation, but that was not the point when I made it. Uh, I alternated these uh, building blocks because I didn't have enough stone. But actually the idea is to have one continuous one continuous stone walkway that goes all the way around. Hmm, but the thing I'm thinking right now is if I get raided, I will need places from which to snipe people. Like that's the whole point of, of, of having wolves. The two. Wolves? Wolves. I could also have wolves, but not yet. The point of having walls is to get on top of them and snipe people. So I need to ho I need to have platforms for sniping. Yep. So I'm gonna have to think about that too. But first of all, let's complete the roof. Let's have a nice door up, up front and have walls all around so that we get uh, cozy inside. You know there is one thing that this game sorely needs and was recently implemented in the game Satisfactory. And it's the swoop building uh, mechanism. It basically means that you select one building piece, you click once, and then you extend that all the way. And then with a second click, you can, binge, you can build like a bunch of pieces, uh, well, in one swoop. All right roof is completed i was also able to repair actually i'm not done repairing uh, a bunch of these tiles are still weathered fortunately because they were exposed to the elements there you go and all repaired good right now let's have a big door up front we want to use wooden gates Double gate. There it is. Hmm. I like the fact that when you get in, you can immediately go down if that's what you want to do. And I guess there is a little bit of space if you want to instead be on the main floor. Which is going to be mainly like decorative and for uh, resting bonus purposes. Then, normal building pieces. Ah, that's, uh, that's a little bit of a problem right there. I didn't think about it. Let me see. I do this, this, and I need to go a half block. Thankfully, we have these pieces now. Hmm. Well, I, I guess it can work. Let me see. You know, it's not bad. It, it's it's actually... Um, it, it's making things more interesting, in a sense. Right? And that can pair up with then this. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. Now look, you can even do this, this, and this. So, the front gate has some kind of frame going all the way around it. That turned out pretty well, I think. I'm thinking if I want to do something with this. Something like this thing here. 
could be interesting. Let me see. Then I think I need to connect it to something, though. Hmm. I don't know, though. I'm not that enamored with it. One thing I absolutely need to do is continue these guys, though. I think they need to connect in some fashion. They don't feel right otherwise. Can you can you snap there, please, sir? Sir, can, can you can you actually snap? Oh boy, it doesn't want to snap. Okay, I'll just manually align it. I don't care. There you go. Alright, it's a brand new day. We're fully rested and we can continue working. Let's see. How does it look from the front? It looks incredibly plain. Hmm. I guess I'll have to come back to it. I think part of the problem right now is, well, there's a, this huge pile of, of, uh, of wood in here and there's no light, right? So good, well-placed lights can do a lot for a place that is otherwise a little bit boring, honestly. There's something wrong with the snapping, like super wrong, like look, I can snap one if I want to do the cross like this, the second one doesn't want to snap. But I guess I can carefully align it manually if I wanted. Looks like, you know, it was stitched together <laughs> with core wood. It's an idea. It's an idea. Probably needs something else around. You know what? I don't dislike it because it kind of reminds me of a... Um, of a Viking design, actually. I didn't really uh, aim for it. Like, that that wasn't specifically my intention. But it does kind of look like, doesn't it? Oh, this is so hard to work with. Like, one piece prevents the other from snapping. So annoying. Like, look, look. It snaps from, from this, this angle. Snap, snap. Doesn't want to snap. It's like it's actively avoiding that. Wait, wait. Have I done it? I think I've done it. Give me this back. Now, straight pieces. One. And... Jump up. Two. I made it. I done it. Remove all this stupid pieces here. All right. All right. I finally, finally managed to replicate same design on the other hand. And it's all close. It's all encased. It's all nice. Comfort is five right here in the middle. And it's gonna be even higher once we put down some nice rags. And I have to decide where do I want a bed. Um, and actually, you know what? I might even in the end remove this door. Or, or maybe I could hide it somehow. Uh, and we might have our bed right here in the middle. So, what comes next? I think if I have enough stone, I'll complete the stone walkway all the way around. And then we are gonna go back inside, actually downstairs. Because we need to start thinking of storage. Alright, it is done. This now goes all 
the way around and the thing I like the most is that it's almost perfectly flush with the end of this stone of the actual natural stone wall or I, I, sh I, I should say uh, ground walls right and by the way this piece here this is a memento to my um, slight lack of planning because really what I should have done is I should have used these uh, pavement pieces as a measuring device uh, before actually deciding where to cut uh, this thing but you know I just you know I decided it was enough and I stopped there and yeah just so happened that on the um, shorter side it aligns perfectly whereas on the longer one uh, you need an extra half piece but you know no big deal no big deal I want to do something next I think about this gap that sometimes you can see right there in between it's a little bit annoying I know I know now I'm being a little bit nitpicky I could move on to something else but yeah look even just something like this much better much much better very good very good indeed and who knows in the future me we might actually have some form of crenellation here or or having in having enough stone uh, maybe I don't know some some kind of small tower going up and now I kind of want to build it So, a long, long time later, we have this slightly janky small turret, which is not so bad, actually. I had to fiddle a lot with those um, archways for support, because otherwise the big stone pavement pieces uh, would not have stayed in place, of course. They, they, they don't like to float in midair. And also, like this design, kind of collides with the way I uh, imagine my roof in here, right? So you can't actually go like this, because you're gonna bang your head. Um, yeah, it's a little bit weird. Uh, but, you know, I might even remove part of the roof in here. Or I might even incorporate, you know, I'm, I might make a roof uh, for the turret, which then incorporates with the rest of the structure. Yeah, so... Um, it's just an idea, just a proof of concept. It's functional. You can snipe people. Well, people. You shouldn't snipe people. You can snipe monsters uh, down there from here. And it's so, like, high up in the air that is practically unreachable by anything but arrows and other kind of projectiles. So pretty neat. Pretty neat. Well, it's just, just a proof of concept, though. Um, now, let's go back and uh, plan... I need to put some stone away and grab some wood and we start and we need to start planning our basement especially um, the storage we need to plan storage and we need to plan the storage in a way that is how do I say it in a way that meshes well together with the future position of our crafting benches so let me think we have a lot of unhindered space in here. And also, this space. So I'm thinking, this space under the stairs is not really usable for too much. But I could fill this up with containers, for example. Or, or another alternative, just like in here, I could have the crafting benches in here and their upgrades all bunched up there and if I have the crafting benches here then maybe I have some of the storage I don't know around the, the pillar or maybe back here 
I mean, this is just a ton of space uh, for, for, for any kind of uh, storage that we want. So let me fiddle around with these ideas for a second. Alright, a lot of fiddling later, um, I managed to pack, you know, the two main uh, crafting benches, you know, crafting bench and forge, under the stairs, together with a lot of storage. What do we have, like 10 in here and 10 in here. This is not final, this is not everything. Oh, also, uh, let me show you, chopping block, anvils. And behind there, we have the tanning rack, the ads, and the... whatchamacallit? The thing you... you douse thing in it. The forge cooler. Now, remains to be seen if the... Um, I need to check the name, I keep forgetting. The forge bellows and the smith's anvil uh, can fit somewhere, either here in the middle, or maybe uh, on the back here. I think I think the bellows need to be really close. So maybe bellows will go in there, and maybe the forge cooler can stay maybe in here, and the anvil can be here in the middle. I mean, it all depends. It's all a little bit fiddly because these uh, these things don't really want to be too close to each other, but they want to be at a specific distance from the bench. Um, so we'll see. Also, I might, I might end up replacing this, uh, these small pieces here with the big ones because these chests seem to be a little bit floaty, are floating a little bit too much in midair. But I mean, from this side, they look very cool. Um, I need to add more lights, for sure. Uh, the thing is, these uh, wall sconces, they use like two. Two copper ingots each. The light is really pretty though. The effect is really neat. I like it. I might actually place them in here. Can I can I do another one? Let's see. Like right against these posts. Yeah, because this way the light is much more direct. Or maybe on this this thing. Let me try. I wanna try this. Like, uh, oh, oh, it's it's gonna be fiddly. Oh, 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 well, hmm, no, maybe I don't like it that much. I, I can't center it. What about here? So, same height, more or less. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the actual light is much, much better. So I might go for something like this in the end. Um, can I do more? Yeah, I do. I can. I can. I, I do have. I do have can. I can do have more. Honey. So I guess also I can put like, um, how are they called? Signs? Signs, yes. And I can make signs. I can, I can do straight away. Um, let's see, like this, imagine, like one here, one here, and I can do something like maybe, uh, wood, stone. Okay, the idea was to have the separator in the middle, can I, can I fool it? 
can I coerce it to do my bidding? Um. More. No. No, you'll you'll never go on three lines. Is that what you are telling me? Oh, it does. Look at that. Wood up top, stone down, which makes this a little bit stupid then, because it's gonna say stone top. I don't know. Leather bottom. And of course it's very fiddly. Uh, but in the end it kind of work, you know? It's an idea, it's an idea. I'll keep working on it. I'll keep thinking about it. Um, and by the way, there's a... yeah. <laughs> I have this tendency to try and make really small compact builds and then I look around and think... Well... I did went a little bit overboard with the... <laughs> <laughs> with the floor plan in here, but I guess it's gonna be more space for decorations more space for uh, I don't know stuff like that. Oh look at that guy He is alone and confused and I'm gonna sleep in here Okay, good morning. So now for the very last thing is the day 151 um, For the very last thing I would like to relocate in here, uh, maybe my cooking spot and the um, the spice rack and have a better place for the bed so that this can start becoming my uh, new base of operations, right? And I'll show you what I came up with and, uh, and then we'll say goodbye. All right, good morning. Would you believe this? We just slept in comfort level 11. We have a raven throne. Look at that. Amazing. We just need more lights because it's uh, it's kind of gloomy at the moment in here. We have a bed. This is just a uh, temporary placement. But in here we have table, chair and bench. And we have item stands. I need to go grab some kind of food to put in there. Uh, I already have the, the, the tankard there. Do I have... Um, let me think. So, I think I have enough. Oh, right. The other thing I was forgetting. There is still the wood gate in here. But it's masked by our, um, our black banner. Then, if we go downstairs, I think I should have now all the needed requirements uh, to transfer my fermenters. So let me think. Where do I want to put these? Maybe, maybe in time I can have a nice big row of these. It's like one here. And one here. What? I don't have enough fine wood. And again, but... Um, but you can also stack them one on top of each other, by the way. Like, if you want, you can do something like this. Let me go grab the rest. And boom. All right. Cool. So, we have two for now. We're gonna have more going forward for sure. What else? Oh, yeah. Like, the, the last thing that we unlocked was armor stands. Okay. So, armor stands. We could have two of them. Let's say... One in here, and one on the other side. Unfortunately, they don't snap, so we need to eyeball it like this. And now I'm gonna get my... Oh, they're, they're not aligned. They're not aligned. Quick, save me. A little bit better. So, let me go take um, the thingies. Well, the, the, the... Oh, look! Comfort level 12! Amazing! It's working. Fantastic. So, I'm gonna go take the, the, the armor sets I'm not using, and I'm gonna stick them in there. Here we are. So, 6, 7, and 8. Let's move up the blue stuff. Wait a second. Can I even put the troll hide cape? I don't know. We'll have to test that. 6, 7, and 8. Let's try this. Oh, it works! 
Oh, that that is also fantastic, and and it moves perpetually, constantly. It's animated. Um, I need to do the same with this. Maybe a cape of some sort will make it seem a little bit better. Okay, I am back with a new cape just for this guy. Good. But also, I brought more materials because I thought, why not continue this gallery with another one? Because we also have another set that we're not using anymore. And it, it is the normal leather set. So, six, seven, and eight. I will have to craft another cape for this guy. But also, I want to test one thing. Can they also hold weapons? <gasps> oh my goodness! It goes on the back and it looks kind of amazing, doesn't it? I love it. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to um, increase the comfort level. Wait. Oh, okay. Um, comfort level in here is, is still 12. I think when I'm in here, I'm in range of everything, right? And of course the bed is, I think. Yes, 12. Cool. Amazing. 19 whole minutes of rested bonus. So, we have our, our throne, we have our armor stands to display, and I want also to start adding uh, item display for the walls, and we can have shields, we can have painted shields and all that stuff. Also, I think I'm gonna put another banner a little bit higher up, because this one, well, you you, you can't really see it, because the throne is in front of it. Um, maybe more rugs? Yeah. Starting to get cozy in here. Starting to get cool. Nice, nice new base also. I can stop in here and uh, chill out in front of my soups with my tankard and my mead. Yeah. Look, looking at the fire, at the roasting meat, and the spices rocking on the rack. I love it. So guys, this is gonna be it, it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima!